may not kill they go out for himself. You already know I'm checking in with the progress report. You did. The progress report. All right, what's going on, y'all? It's your girl, Lala Shepard, checking in. And this is the progress report, man. And I got my very special uh, special guest of the day, Jose Guapo, man. What's going on? I mean, I'm a kid, the one and only. If they tell it's another, here, yeah, phony. That's right. Um, now, quick question for you. Why do they call you the Million Dollar Kid? Because I was like, I always was the kid in the hood that was like, I wasn't selling for this. Like, I come from poverty, like, like 10 to like really like 15 probably like they are like 15 17 people living in one house so i just was never with the type that was set for this mm -hmm. and i always told myself that i won't be the kid that gonna get him a mini mm -hmm. and when i got to an age when i started getting money i ran with the name right Okay, now um, with you, you, you created a lot of style and a lot of lingo, which we all know, the Guapanese and a, a thousands of other things that you've created. The dab. Okay. Um, would you the, say... The, everybody doing like this. Right, everybody was you know doing saying? that in their pictures, yes. You know what I'm saying? The one, two. The, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I don't be tripping off none of that, though, because I ain't really hurting from that, so it, like, I ain't going to be no, like... Being bashful and trying to be angry about something don't get you no money, so sure. I ain't tripping. Shout out to everybody that ran out with it, though. What I was going to say was, do you think that you're underrated? I know I'm underrated. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not, a, it's not a question that I'm underrated. Like, we ask my fans, I'm underrated. Like, and I don't get the credit that I'm supposed to get. You hmm. know what I'm saying? Very interesting. Like, um, like the Keeper 100, like, I've I been, like, it's guys, like, I ain't drop. I ain't saying. I'm, I'm gonna say names like YC had the number one song. Mm -hmm. Like Rats on Rats on Rats. For sure. I never had a number one song, mm -hmm. but I'm way more relevant than YC. Like it's people that be be, be coming out top of the charts, going to BT jams, whatever they whatever they going, and they doing they doing. We hear about them. We hear about them, and we don't hear about them no more. I never been on TV. I never been in radio rotation. Like I never been signed to no label. So. And I'm still relevant. I always keep a high record, so I don't know be tricked. Word. Um, now, just speaking on that, I got to go down my personal favorites of songs. Um, obviously, to run it up, that was a dope joint. Um, I like the whatever it takes joints that you had with Spiffy as well. Mm -hmm. And The Hustler um, from the Cash Talk 4. Mm -hmm. Definitely some of my favorite records. And I feel like with you, and I know you said this in the interview, other interviews too, um, you do come out with a hit record literally every year you know what i mean it's mm -hmm. it's always that dope street record that gets them um what do you think it is though like that's somebody trying to blackball me mm. being straight up man i don't think i think like niggas don't want to see like the nigga that ain't gonna be a dick rider or a yes man mm -hmm. have his way in the town if you ask me personally that's just me that's my personal belief mm -hmm. i don't think no nigga like niggas are scared to see me with 10 million niggas are scared mm. to see me with like two million like niggas are scared to see me like really just doing my bars the way they supposed to be done even though i still do my bars mm -hmm. but like niggas are afraid of that so like they don't, like, niggas be getting in the way, throwing shade, all type of shit be going on in, in these industry, streets. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, the industry is, 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 and like you said, you just said the industry and you it's said fake. the streets. It's I fake. know, I should, I, I know. Um, now, now talk about some of the things that you dislike about the industry and some of the things that you do like about it. I don't like the fact that, like, Say things like you, I don't really be reaching out to nobody. Like, I, mm -hmm. I do songs on my own. Everybody that I probably got a song where they reached out to me. Like, but if they're a bigger artist, I probably did reach out to them because I fuck with their music. Mm -hmm. But, like, what I don't really be liking is, I don't like when, like, niggas go big. Like, mm -hmm. like you know what I'm saying? Like, last week, you acting like this and now this week, mm -hmm. you acting like that. Mm -hmm. Or, I don't like when niggas, like, I'm the type of nigga, like, I ain't, I ain't here to make friends. Mm -hmm. So, like, when niggas be like, oh, we need to swap numbers up. Mm -hmm. I got social networks. Go follow me on something that you're going to do some business. I ain't trying to swap numbers. I'm not the type of nigga that's going to give somebody my number. Mm -hmm. If I know I'm not going to entertain them, if they're going to be calling or texting. Mm -hmm. I don't like them type of niggas that give them. Oh, bro, here's my number. Then when you call the text, like, no response. Mm -hmm. so I, don't, I just don't like them type of niggas in the industry. Them the industry right. niggas I don't like. 
Okay. Like, just to, if you scared, like I, I look at y'all niggas scared, really, like cause y'all afraid to just say y'all don't want to give a nigga y'all number. Mm -hmm. I ain't biting my tongue. That shit hurt. Like I don't bit my tongue multiple times. Yeah, yeah, you start hurt. bleeding, so right. I ain't biting my tongue. Straight up. I just straight up. You know what I'm saying I ain't got no animosity. Mm -hmm. I'm saying big old fat shot right now doing what they're doing. 1.5 oh, yeah. views, no video. Most of. 1.6 to be exact. Mm -hmm. um, now, are, are there some things that you can't say that you do like about the industry? Hey, yeah, I like the money. Of course. I like the money. I mm -hmm. like like I like the women. I like the women, and then like this like. Certain occasions I be liking, like when it be a real vibe. Mm -hmm. Like some places you can go and, and like be with a real vibe. Right. You know what I'm saying like you know, like sometimes you walk in the room and you're like, damn, like, do I supposed to be here? But then like right. sometimes you walk in some room like, oh, I just feel like you just walked in, sure. down, like you just walked in club crucial or something. Like, oh, right. I, I get into <laughs> with this. So. Most yeah, I, be like, I like that about the industry. Okay. Um, now talk about patience. I feel like with this, with the music business, especially nowadays, um, it's, it's such a microwave type business where people think that stuff can happen overnight, in which it can. Um, but just talk about for your personal story. Um, how do you keep yourself motivated when it's like you feel like you do get overlooked? I definitely feel like you're overlooked. Cause I never, cause to be honest, mm -hmm. I ain't never stopped being booked. Since I dropped okay. off knees, like I ain't even stop getting booked since mm -hmm. I dropped off knees. Well, I got a hot song or not. Right. I'm a fly nigga. I look good. Sure. Motherfuckers want to see me. Like, this shit, they just want to see me. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So, bitch, I mean, not bitches, but the female fans and all. <laughs> like, they, they want to see me, brother. I got a song or not. So, I've mm -hmm. just been continuing to get booked. Mm -hmm. um, and I just always been getting money besides rap. So, it's like, I ain't getting. It's like, where the frustration coming from? Right. Got you. Right. I mean, but I know it can still sometimes get frustrated, no, not getting that respect that you, I feel like you I mean, when I get there. frustrated, I just take it out. I just go make a song. Like when I made okay. the Fuck the Rock Game song, you know? Mm -hmm. I just go tell all the niggas how I'm feeling. Fuck the Rock Game, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I get too, too, if I get frustrated like that emotionally or something. Right. But I don't really wear my emotions on my sleeve, so niggas will never really know how I'm feeling. True. Um, now, can you describe for us the difference between the old old Atlanta and the new Atlanta? I mean, how old? Now, you from Atlanta, so I mean, you would kind of give me a better depiction. I'm from Ohio, but you know, just from just from the music business stance, like from just when the introduction of trap rap kind of came out. You know what I mean? I think me personally, I think T.I. started trap music for sure because first album trap. Mm -hmm. Music and before him, it was Lil John the East Side Boy right. Crunk music. Most so of them. I, whether what they want to give Ti his props or not, mm -hmm. I think he started it. Mm -hmm. But I think like Gucci Man is he he took over it. Absolutely, like, you know what I'm saying? Cause That's he just went like for Fred Street. He was like Ti was on a like he was on he was an A list artist, mm -hmm. so it was certain things they couldn't say. Mm -hmm. And like Gucci Man was not, he wasn't an A list artist. But he wants some pee on RZ and he right. just didn't give a fuck what he say, so mm -hmm. he just went straight trap, straight street with it. So mm -hmm. I think like that's why he called himself Trap God. So mm -hmm. you know, like, that's why I think about trap music. And I don't, I mean, they be they be necessarily saying like, even if you ain't talking about it, and they going on the, on in trap like they don't like made trap like a genre. Oh yeah, for like, sure. Like yeah. yeah, hip hop, mm -hmm. like trap is almost like a genre now. Right. You see what I'm saying? Like so it's like. You ain't got necessarily be talking about no bricks, no pounds, mm -hmm. or no drugs. Right. It's the it, production. Yeah, like, it's like, if you got the 808 mm -hmm. sort of you know, type of shit in your beat, right. oh, that's trap music. Definitely. So shit. Now, I know with Gucci, I know at one point you were supposed to sign with him, um, and I know that you do look up to him. So what do you think about Gucci Man's transition from the old Gucci to the new Gucci now with his head straight? And, you know, what do you think about that? I fought, with, I fought with the new Gucci cause I just, I, I like everything he doing. He bossed up, he mm -hmm. moving around like a boss. He ain't playing with none of these suck ass niggas that was right. talking shit about him. He stunned every chance he get. He sure. shitting on every nigga that ever said something about him. His, him and his hoe having his way. No Straight disrespect up. to Kishi <laughs> Shior. They having their way. Mm -hmm. I fought with the new, you know what I'm saying? I fought with the new Gucci, but I haven't seen him since he got out of jail. Okay. Now the old Gucci, mm. that's my partner. Like, that's my <laughs> like, like that's my homie. I it know worked. him for real. Like, 
I know him like I don't see his son like in right. the studio like I know him like I don't have I don't help Keisha Cure like carry mm. things out the car upstairs right. to the studio like I know Gucci man like for like I know Gucci like okay so that's like my man man I always just respect the fact like I came to the studio really I was fucking with Scooter young Scooter mm. I came to the studio this when Scooter was fucking with, with Gucci I came to the studio with mm -hmm. a song for Scooter. Mm. Gucci heard it and he got on it. Word. And then charged me a like right. a, a nickel. And mm. ever since then like the respect level just been so high and he just always like, bro, like you you, you hard, you hard. Like he, he always inspired everybody that was around that time from the fresh to the dogs to the Pee Wee Longways to the um Migo, Big Bang Black, mm -hmm. um, OGB Dirty OGB Dirty. Who else was? I don't want to leave nobody out. A lot of people, for real. Migos. I don't want to leave nobody out. Walker. OJ G Man. Like, all of us was in the Brit Factory together. Mm -hmm. Like, it was like five rooms. We'll just be going room for room, recording, recording. Like, he he showed us that method. You know what I'm saying? So, mm. like, he a genius, if you ask me, though. I agree. Gucci definitely by far one of my favorite rappers and businessmen. You know what I mean? And, like, I, I'm having a good feeling like he want to sign me, but. I fuck with Gucci enough to sign with him, but he just signed like two new artists, and I just don't mm -hmm. want to seem like I'm just riding that wave. You know what I'm saying? I like, said okay. it's it's gonna be a time and a place. I de I definitely think once they get their infrastructure all the way right, it's gonna make sense. You know what I mean? I mean, I once they let me get too much money, I don't think nobody gonna be able to sign me. Not even me or Corn. If I get mm -hmm. enough money, I don't think. What's nobody. what's enough money? Um, probably like. I better flip. I got five million. I better turn it to twenty. Okay. Without no label. Mhm. Mm Easy. Right. Okay. And we got it. Oh, it's lit. And we got it. We ain't have no paper problems. I promise you that. That's your local strippers in Atlanta. I'm about to clap over at Magic City. Where you want to ask? I'm saying. Oh, that's all these niggas, what they saying, that they trapped stars and they trapped over here. That's what trap I ain't been in. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You dig what I'm saying? That's what trap Quap I ain't pulled up in. I been in long one, I been in long six, mm. I been in long three. I been, I be on County Road, on four. Mm -hmm. Well, I used to be. I don't really be playing like that no more. I live in L.A. now, so shit. Mm. When I come here, I just work, check on the family and shit like that. That's right. Um, now you from Zone Three. Yeah, I'm from Zone Three. Zone Three. Like Pittsburgh, some of here to be exact. Like, mm -hmm. really, like I was born on the west side. I was, like, I was born in Bankhead Court. Mm -hmm. But like, I wasn't raised. Like, I didn't mm -hmm. really like, like, you know, even when I was a child, my mom, my my mother's mother stayed. Like Bankhead Court was separated by two sides. Mm -hmm. My mother's mother stayed on this side. A side of the bank had court, and my father's mother stayed on B side of the bank had court. So, like, it's like cross the street. Anybody that's from Bankhead watching the interview, they know what I'm talking about. Right. Real Bankhead Highway niggas. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, I really was like originated from the west side. Like, I went to school all the way up to like the fourth grade, I think, on the west side. Mm -hmm. Then, when I left the west side, we moved to like, um, Hamilton. That's what this is. Mm. These are just places my mama, my mom is moving. But due to the fact that my dad was incarcerated, mm -hmm. we was more than likely going over my grandma house. Like even like like spring breaks and you know like weekends and when you're sick, when you play sick and mm -hmm. you stay at home for four days, I was going to my grandma house. So, and, and what and what and why I did a lot of my stuff, right? Work like street wise and growing up. And the streets wasn't in Pittsburgh and Summer Hill. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? D and Dale Avenue, like we, that's why I did a lot of learning how to do street things, mm -hmm. pistols. You know what I'm saying, trying to make some money, hustling, mm -hmm. shooting dice, right? And everything that can go on in any other hood, right? Was right. going on in the same hood. Straight and, up. And that's just what that's just where I was at. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's why I grew up, and that's why I was at, and that's why I'm still at. For sure. Uh, now, can you define for me what is the difference between what people would consider mumble rap and real hip hop? So I feel like it's a fine line. I feel like sometimes it, it comes to me. It comes down to if you were able to understand that artist. I mean, so what you think? What they saying, mumble rap is a future. 
I think, like, well, who they... This? It's hard to say. I mean, some people might think Future is Mumble That's Rap. That's Mumble Rap. Yeah, some people might. It's all, to me, a matter of opinion. So what would you say? What's Mumble Rap to I you? Don't, I don't know what Mumble Rap is. I never heard one song that was a Mumble Rap song. I don't okay. Know. Like, because I be understanding, like, this, like, I'm going to give you a Future line. Hood nigga fuck all that red carpet shit. Hood nigga fuck on a red carpet bitch. Some people may say that's mumbling. Right. But I understood exactly yeah, what he said. Right. So it's mm-hmm. like, people might think, um, Lil Baby might be mumbling. Right. Or like, yeah. Nah, 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 mm-hmm. right. But you can understand what he's saying. So how is he mumbling? I think mm-hmm. mumbling, like somebody that probably really honestly mumbles. It's thug. Like, I don't mm, in the studio, you know what I'm yeah, yeah. I promise you, like, for three bars or four bars, he would literally just not be saying nothing like this. Yeah, that mm, harmony. Like, just not a harmony, just, mm, just mm. not saying that, like, mumbling. Mm. Mm. Okay. That's the only thing, but he never put those type of records out. Right, okay. But, like, that's, gotcha. that's what I would, I would consider him mumbling right, because he's hard to understand. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, who's in that hard to understand? Mm-hmm. Like, I don't really think anybody that's hard to understand ain't mama rap. Because if you want to say mama rap, like, be middle rap fast. Yeah, yeah, for sure. They call that mama rap or they call mm-hmm. that hip hop. It's what? a fine line, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's so a I fine don't line. know what mama rap is. I don't mm-hmm. mama rap. Okay. I, I mean, like, if you listen to, like, you people just got to listen to music. Like, right. Really, a lot of people aren't listeners. Like, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, they just be nodding their head, mm-hmm. turned up in the club or turned up in the car or. Whatever, like, they ain't really to actually listen to what a, what he, a person might be saying. Like, mm. I was just on, when I was in L.A., a person was trying to tell me something about Future. Like, he ain't got, he ain't really lyrical. He mm. ain't, I'm like, I don't really think people be hearing what Right, it's say. no like, way. It's no way down like, here. Like, people don't listen to what Future say. Straight I don't up. think so. Like, they can't. Mm-hmm. Like, he the go. Definitely. Definitely. Um, now, now, talk about... Jose Guapo as a businessman, um, like I think an- another thing that people forget too, especially for the out of towners that don't understand this music business is is business. You know what I mean? It's it business, but it's personal. No, 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 it's personal too. It's definitely personal. I take everything personal. But just to get into you as a businessman, now you have plenty of mixtapes out, plenty of projects, and then too on the marketing side of things, I feel like you know what you're doing as far as just you know, as far as you know. How you how you talk and how you dress. So talk about you as a businessman. How do you stay focused? I mean, I just come up with new schemes every day. Mm-hmm. You know, I vent with my team and my gang members. You know what I'm saying? Everybody signing my record label. And I just come up with new schemes and new thoughts every day. I have a very creative mind and a very intelligent mind. Like people be thinking I'm in, like slow because I be mm-hmm. I, I smoke weed. And, I do a little more thing, mm-hmm. but like, what people don't know about me is that I had the highest score on the high school graduation test in the okay. literature course, right. like in the literature course. Mm-hmm. I went to I went to managers in high school. It used to be called Southside, same mm-hmm. school she went to. Like on that bar when he was like, I need to try to play back in high school. I fuck around right. and make news. Mm-hmm. Like he didn't make that up. That's that's true. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I went to the same school he went to. Mm-hmm. He went to them fucking JRTC ball with my sister. Mm-hmm. So like it was like shit. That's just what it is. Okay. Um, now speak about that. Just going back on misconceptions. Like um, another thing that I noticed about you, you definitely open about your relationship with God. Why do you think it is that people feel like people in order for you to have a relationship with God that you have to be perfect, quote unquote? And that you can't still be, you know, a rapper and have a good I mean, relationship with God. To keep it one, to keep it all the way, one hundred. To keep it all the way one hundred, if we want to take it down some like real deal, godly shit, like rapping is a sin. Mhm. Mm-hmm. Like it's a sin. Like it's a sin off top just by rapping. I don't care what you rapping about. I don't care if you telling me. You know what I'm saying? Somebody walk across the street or like it's a sin. Music, like that's it's devil. That's I did my research. Like people mm-hmm. just gotta look up the bottom of it and like Satan. Like motherfuckers don't even know Satan and Lucifer ain't the same person. Mm-hmm. All this old type of shit like that. So I'm just saying anyway, but I look at re re ask me that question because I wanna get the right answer. Right. Pretty much I was saying was, um, why do you think it 
that people think that you have to be a perfect person. Oh, no, you don't to. have to be perfect. Ain't no, like, God know ain't nobody perfect. I don't think he put nobody on the earth to be perfect because, like, if we all was perfect, I wonder what kind of world would that be. I agree with you. I feel like, see, this is the thing, though. I feel like where people get it messed up at. People, I don't mean to cut you off, but, like, people be fine in love or late, mm. trying to wait till they get married to have sex, mm. and soon you had a sitting, I don't know why she's not married. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like certain things, like, I don't know. If you want to live by just straight by being perfect by God, mm -hmm. I don't know nobody. I don't mm -hmm. really know. I don't think nobody exists. Like, I don't think no one in the world exists that you know. Oh, people go nah. to church on right. Sundays. Whether they go to church four times a week, right? I don't think motherfuckers really like everybody's saying. Mm -hmm. You just gotta be ready to ask for forgiveness. Mm -hmm. That's all. Got you. Um. Now. Just talk about dealing with losses. Um, I know this past year has definitely been rough. Um, losing people like low money. Um, no, last, and, year, and last year, November first, it's been roll around. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's come back around. I don't really, right. like, I don't really like to speak on that, but I answer what you want to know. Okay. We're gonna keep your name alive. One thing. Of course, it. absolutely. Like, like this shit telling my face. Like you might want to zoom in. Right. Long oh, yeah. money. Mm -hmm. it's, oh, yeah. it's a hashtag. I got the shit on my face so mm -hmm. motherfuckers won't miss it. Like, that's how serious we is about it. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But what you want to ask me about? It? Just even with him and, and Mozzie, too. You know what I mean? Like, how do you personally deal with losses? Like, because I feel like everybody take losses, but I feel like a lot of people don't know how to deal with them emotionally. So, how do you personally deal with a I loss? I got a brother in the feds right now, too. So, it, it's like. Those ain't the only two losses. Oh, I, for sure. Like, I got a brother doing 10 years in the feds, mm -hmm. like, I'm capo. Mm -hmm. Like, anybody go listen to my music, they know who capo is. Go look at my video, they know who capo is. Mm -hmm. Free capo, by the way. I got a brother in the feds doing 10 years, too, so, like, shit. Niggas don't never know what be on my mind. I can click it in a moment, like, that's why I just try to stay working. Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, let's try to keep stay focused on music, like, this gonna get us out of here. Uh, it's gonna keep us straight. It's gonna make sure I can be able to take care of the money family. Right. It's gonna make sure I'm gonna be able to keep Capo fed while he locked up. When he get home, he gonna come home to them rack eight millions, mm -hmm. and them. So it's like, I just gotta stay focused. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, I, everybody have their days. You're not no real nigga if you don't have no Straight day. up. Like, Absolutely. Like, like, real niggas cry too. Like, he ain't, ain't nothing wrong with crying. That's what tears made for my nigga. Like, mm -hmm. you think it was created to just. Be sing well, they sing before they come out your eye. Right. Hey, man, that was created for you to fucking go down your face, so shit. Mm -hmm. But to actually dealing with them, I just try not to think on it. Like, gotcha. Yes, the, yes, them in a very dark direction. They'll make me do something that I don't really need to be doing right now. Understood. Now, like I said, I had to ask just because, you know, a lot of people deal with, with tough situations like that. But, like, it's, I took those both of those situations different because if you ask me personally, mm -hmm. me knowing Mozzie, yeah, I know for a fact, like, he was ready to go out there with his brother. For sure. For you know, sure. So, like, for sure. I know him, so mm -hmm. I know he was ready to go out there with his brother. Like, he was tired. Like, mm -hmm. they shot, he, been, he was shot, he been, they told him he was shot 19 times. Mm -hmm. He was shot 13 times before he got killed. Right. Mm -hmm. So I like, y'all, I just know he was tired, and like, every time I was around him, like, he just always, like, never always speak on, like, he ain't afraid to die, right. like, just, mm -hmm. that's crazy. He was just crazy, so it like, it was, that was heavy on my heart, but mm -hmm. it was like. Different situation. It was just like, I know that. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're in a better place than you're with your brother. Right. But, like, the money, like, he didn't get a chance to live his whole life mm -hmm. out. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and Miles is like, don't, don't get it twisted. I don't want to say that in the wrong way. You know, Miles, you he mean. do what he do in the streets. Mm -hmm. But money ain't even in the streets right. like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. so he was like an innocent bastard. Mm -hmm. So, like, we just took that real tough. For sure. Like, we still ain't. Everybody, I don't think nobody's saying. Of course, of course. You know what I mean? I, I get it. I ask for yeah, gang. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Got you. Um, now, um, I want to talk about just your label situation. Um, I remember kind of back when we at first kind of got uh, connected. I started off with Street Is X. 
right. part of the house to be is that. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Al and Tech and mm -hmm. the whole Travis Paul. They were the first ones to give me an opportunity. Mm -hmm. I appreciate everybody gave me an opportunity. But um, things kind of went south when I went to this. I was young, you know, hot-headed, mm -hmm. fresh out the streets. Things I didn't understand, like, mm -hmm. 2 chains had to create that song, and I had guapa knees. I didn't really understand that it could have been work. Mm -hmm. And both our favor, I didn't really understand. I'm like 18, 17, right. so mm -hmm. it's like, you know, I just returned with, like, how a young nigga will return. Like, mm -hmm. I'm coming with anger. Like, mm -hmm. I wanted the beef. I wanted to do whatever. Like, mm -hmm. I was ready to do young and dumb shit, crash out. Because mm -hmm. it was like shit. I was in there like, a nigga just said, fuck me, spit in my face off. It's mm -hmm. fuck me. Spit in my face is fuck you, spit in your face. You dig what I'm saying? But right now, though, it's like yeah, all that shit is resolved. Like, it's no issues. It's nothing like if I see change in the world, it's respect. Like, I always respect his ground. Like, I have no problem with him. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, we was more like family. Mm -hmm. That's why I get, that's why I, that's why I get, that's why I, I, I don't diss rappers. Mm -hmm. Like, the thing that even happened with Young Joe, like, I don't diss rappers. I ain't finna be dissing rappers. Both of them, like, I I know these people. Like, family members, mm -hmm. like, 2 chains, um, baby mother, whether she his wife now or whatever, she was pregnant in her, in a new house that, that he had, and, like, she made me something to eat. Like, I'm, mm -hmm. I was, I'm close to these people. Like, mm -hmm. so for those people to fuck me, mm -hmm. it's like, damn, like, how I supposed to feel? Mm -hmm. When you young, right, you ain't got time to be sitting around like trying to think about the mature thing to do. Mm -hmm. You trying to think about the first dumb thing to do. You know, go on, go diss him on the song, or go say something on Twitter. You know what I'm saying? Then I was around Gucci at the time when he on the bullshit. So he, you know what I mean? All, everybody putting fuel to the fire, so that's what it was. But that shit, that passed me, man. I'm three, four singles down. Right, you know for what sure. Saying? I'm Guapanese when I was 18. I'm 25 right. years old. Man. Yeah, most definitely. Um, and, and, that's, and that's what I like about you, too. You you were able to admit when certain situations where you were wrong in, but it's different when you're young, you know what I mean? When you're yeah, young, I was, it's different, I mean, man. I don't really necessarily think I was wrong. I think I went about the wrong way. Well, that's what I mean, right. You know what I'm yeah, I mean, for I sure. I think I went about the wrong mm -hmm. way. You know what I'm saying? I just went, then nobody can tell me we had the same management. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, it like I felt like, just because he was, if I felt like my manager just felt like, just because he was the bigger artist, mm -hmm. they supposed to ride with it. It just, mm -hmm. I just, man, it just was just, I just went with it, man. You know, I just went with it. Right. And I told him, and I told him to drop me. Mm-hmm. I told him they can drop me. Like, right. I get it, I get it, I get it. I get it, I get it. And then when I did that, actually, when I got on the bullshit, that's how Fuck the Rock Game was made. Mm -hmm. Fuck the Rock Game was made like that because I was, um, like, I was pulling up the serve into a boom. It's probably like 3 in the morning. I was pulling up the serve him a zip of gas. Mm -hmm. And, like, he was trying to talk to me because I had been on Twitter all the day trending. He mm -hmm. was trying to talk to me. Like, the whole city knew about it. So he was trying to talk to me about it. He was like, bro, don't worry about it, bro. Like, you hard, bro. Like, no matter what happened, no. Whatever you gonna always get, you always gonna come out on top. Mm. Whatever, and son of this was there too, trying to tell me the same thing. And I was like telling them both, like, bro, I ain't really trying. And then y'all talking about fuck the rap game, right. and like that's what like made me say that. Then after that, I was just like, uh, y'all speaking that bro? I had like seven niggas with me, they bang down on my line, like, you got some beat Metro? He mm -hmm. played me some beats. And like, I told him personally, I lied, I don't want them beats that you just play for the people trying mm -hmm. to buy beats. You play me the beats that you play for Future. Mm -hmm. So I, he played me a beat, make on a sort of short. I found me a beat, I listened to it about 12 times, I told him, and then to load it up. Mm -hmm. And I went in the booth, and on the booth, somebody else had said something to me. And I just still got, like, walking toward the booth, man, fuck the rap, man. Mm -hmm. So. Like he caught that on like the mic. Mm, okay. And I was like, hold up, I'm finna try some, and I just try some. Word. Um. Now, what about quality control? Cause that's what I was gonna say. I first met you um, when the Run It Up came out. 
you and Spit for you. It was a listening session, I think, for Johnny Cinco. Um, and that's when y'all was playing to run it up. So I'm like, damn, this shit hard. So I know you had a situation with QC. So how's that? Um, I had a management situation with okay. QC. They want to sign me as an artist. They probably still do. Mm -hmm. But it was like I would call up in the street is that situation. It was mm -hmm. like, you know, that was on what they was on. I guess like it wasn't even about the money because 300 was trying to sign me at the time too. And they was going to match whatever QC would have put up. Mm -hmm. And they won't give it to them. Three days and I was going to be free. Like I was going to be signed to three QC. Mm -hmm. But they never, they lawyers or whatever, never got it right. So I can sign the deal or whatever, and then we just kept it straight. Mm -hmm. He rocked with me, I rocked with you. I want to okay. see you win. I got whatever you need. I got you. Mm -hmm. What type of shit the world would be? That's why I told you. Like he wanted the niggas like that believed in me when nobody wanted to believe me. Like. Mm -hmm. He, he came to me at a point when I was in the trap house, like, I was in the trap house, like, in the kitchen, like, every day, like, opening mm -hmm. the door with the pistol, like, two string door, like, he was putting up, like, you gotta get out of here, man, like, mm -hmm. you need to be in the studio, like, that type of shit, so I just respect, like, I just respect his approach. Right. So, I, that's why I fucked with him, like, I was like, yeah. And then he was the only nigga trying to, him and Gucci, but Gucci had got a rip, got locked right, up. Right, right. I was like, shit, bro, trying to fuck with me. Like, mm. he really trying to fuck with me. Show me what the studio was at. Like, bro, you don't got to go nowhere. You sleep in them motherfuckers. Right. Whatever. Man, that's from work. Mm -hmm. And that's what it is. But what the thing with them was, it just, I mean, we tried to wreck it out. Mm -hmm. I guess I don't know if they dropped the ball or they didn't want to go all the way because I wasn't signed or... For the run it up. Yeah. Okay. Like, so I don't know what the situation was mm -hmm. behind the table, but like behind the scenes. So I don't really know what the situation was, but it was like, I just gave them that. I gave them that song. Like I gave, I, I, I signed that song. Like I sold that song to mm -hmm. the control. So it was like... Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? So it was like, after that... They weren't really like, they were like what the, what they doing? I ain't, okay. ain't nobody dropped me because I was never signed. It's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what, 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 what? I flew to, I flew to my, I flew to LA to check Soldier World about, um, the little Yada situation. Mm. You know what I'm saying? We had all the talk about it and I kicked it with them and they had guess they ain't like that I had kicked it with mm. I had already done checked on about the situation. Mm -hmm. And he, you know what I'm saying? He, and I just kept it with him. He grouped out. He went to what a QC chain. Let him take that thing on QC chain. I guess but P ain't like all that. So mm -hmm. I, I mean, he, he, he rolled with Lil Yachty. Right. Um, I mean, I'm pretty sure he would have did the same thing for me if, if for I sure. was in that seat. But mm -hmm. I don't really think there's no reason to, you know, to really like. That was a hot record, bro. That was a banger, man. I really thought that record, that mother, like people know, people still know about it. You know what I mean? Like I remember, just even folks from my hometown, Ohio, they still hit me up about that record. You know what I mean? So I feel like that record was definitely one of the records that was supposed to do that. You know that push up. Boosted, shot goods, and fiddle off on a remix. Right. It was a like, huge it ain't record. No, it ain't no P on record. No, we know. That was a, a major record. Now, question though. Why did you end up taking off Skipper's verse? This is what happened with Skipper's verse. Right? Skipper was arrested. Mm. We turned the song in. I told you I sold the song to Quality mm. Control. Now, Capital is behind the record. Mm. When you're dealing with major labels, you have set dates mm. that you have to do shit. Understood. And it was just so fucked up that... The date, the first date they set for the video, Skipper went out. Gotcha. So I was like, all right, we got to go with another resource. Then the shit was even more fucked up because it rained on that day that the video posted. Mm. So and it was outside. Re, yeah, we had to reschedule. Yeah. And then we shot the one that y'all actually see on YouTube. Gotcha. Okay. And Skip had got out by then, but the song that's turned into to, I mean, to Capital is the one with Take Off on it. Got gotcha. you. Like, okay. that ain't nothing we wanted to do. It right. was something like we had to do. Like, 
even piece it out of his mouth, like that video would have been killing two birds and one stone, cause both of us was, was like sure. QC. So it ain't it ain't like I took him off on no hatred, mm -hmm. nothing like it wasn't in, like it was just business. Like it was nothing I can do about it. I don't know your jail situation, right. like you know what I'm saying. Like I wouldn't want you to if I was locked up. I wouldn't want you to hold back on you. You gotta do what you gotta do to feed your family or whatever. Sure. To, you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't be feeling no type of way. Like, and I still fuck with Skipper. Right now, still talk to him. I can call him right now. Mm -hmm. And I love Lost. 